it's his decision, but he needs to come forward now, I think. I know his survival instinct has kicked in, and I know he saw what happened to Philip Schofield, but my God, look at the damage to the BBC. Look at the damage to his friends, yeah. to those falsely accused. And the longer he leaves it, the worse it will be for him. Do you feel, I mean, you, you know, you talk to the staff at the BBC, do they feel let down by the fact he hasn't stepped forward? I think, yeah, I got a lot of people supporting, I, I tweeted that basically last night about, about him, that I, th I do think, this is my tweet, I, I thought about this very carefully before I sent it. I know the individual concerned. I am very worried about his state of mind and what this is doing to him. I haven't spoken to him, but I gather from somebody who has that he is described as angry mm -hmm. and keen to play it long. Mm -hmm. Now, to me, that means that he wants to be anonymous for as long as possible, but he, but the thing is, hoping that he can one day walk it back into the building and start the whole thing.